Very tense. Anyway, let us continue. So, to welcome us in this uh, opening ceremonies of new professional electronics engineers, electronics engineers, and electronic technicians. May I call the first woman president of ISEP, the first woman member of the Board of Electronics and Communication in, uh, Examiners, the first woman who was recognized as uh, ASEAN engineer, first woman ASEAN engineer in the field of electronics engineer, and now the chairman of the Board of PCE. Honorable Silvia Picasiano Marcelo. Thank you. It's a very first time. I'm going to talk to you already. Very old. Well, uh, Attorney Carlos Almilor the Secretary of Board of the Professional Regulatory Board of the Professional Regulatory Commission. Uh, our uh, commissioner is not yet around. So, uh, our guest speaker, Ms. Shai Miko, uh, the President and Chairperson of the Institute of Electronics Engineers of the Philippines National, Engineer Romulo Agate, uh, our former board member of the Professional Regulatory Board for Electronics and Communication Engineering, Engineer Fortunato Pernas, uh, our adopted bishop, Engineer Ben Andre, I welcome you to the solemn ceremony, the induction of the ECEs, PECEs, and ECTs. Mabuhay. Please welcome Ms. Shiny Po. Um, to the members and um, officers of PRC, um, to the members and officers of ISEP, um, to the students, graduates, oath takers, to the parents, families of the oath takers um, today, a very pleasant morning to all of you. I am very pleased to be here, not because it allows me to um, shamefully plug HP as an employer of choice for you guys. Um, but of course, um, I have every intention to attract the best and the brightest from your community, but I would not be providing you value by doing that. You are supposed to be smart people, and I'm pretty sure that everyone here are very smart. You, you've made it, you, 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 you passed the board examinations. Our company has a strong enough reputation. I hope everyone knows. Um, Hewlett Packard, what we do here in the Philippines, we're more than just a printer company. Um, if you would like to know more about HP, what we do, about the job openings that we have, you can always visit our booth at the ground floor. Um, but today, um, in this um, 10 to 15 minutes that I have in front of you, um, I would prefer to talk about the more important things that matter to you in the next few years. So let me proceed. Well, first of all, I'd like to sincerely congratulate 
um, all of you for being here. Being here means um, that you have achieved something substantial in your life. It's a milestone in your lives. You were able to rise above the expectations of your parents. Parents, are you very proud? Are you proud of your kids? Yes. I'm pretty sure you are. You have lived up to the expectations of your universities and of course your expectations of yourselves. You have done something many of you wished for for a long, long time. And now this is it, you're here. You're taking the oath. You're doing the oath taking. You have achieved something others who are not here today aspire for. So please give yourselves a very, very warm round of applause. Now the question is, what happens next? Can somebody answer that? What happens next? So what if you have the degree and you have um, the licensure? Does that guarantee success? What does your license guarantee you? Does it guarantee you a fulfilling career? Does it bring you onto sufficiently challenging jobs that would rather further allow you opportunities to grow and develop? What do you aspire for right now? When all the cheers and the applause go away, you would need to prepare yourself through the challenges of real life. Indeed, a degree from a very reputable university um, helps, your, your, um, your licensure helps. But those things do not guarantee you lifelong success. They do not provide you with the certainty of a career enriched with challenges that will fuel your growth and development over time. You are definitely better positioned, but there is still much to be done. There are still many hours of hard work before you can claim real life success. There are still many other people who will help you before you look back towards today to claim that you have made it. In that regard, let me share to you what I have learned over the years. My intent is to share with you what I have painfully learned from my mentors over time. There are things that are frustratingly simple, yet it makes you wonder how many people struggle with these. Three very basic things I've learned. First, know what you love to do and keep doing it. Talent is important. As someone from staffing, I would know because we do talent acquisition. So we know talent is very important. Passion is also very important. They may exist separately, but they are more powerful when you can apply them together. 